Jason from Infusion DTF. Just uh, doing a video today, um, a little follow up, I guess, um, on what I've been doing uh, since my conversion and uh, my removal of the tray. Um, so I kind of want to give you a rundown today on um, basically what it's going to cost you to start the DTF business up from your house, um, particularly with the Epson ET8550. Um, as well as all the supplies you'll need um, and all the other equipment that, that will be needed uh, to, start, uh, to start making your DTFs out of your house. Um, I'll run you through from the, um, the machines to the uh, supplies to um, the software that's on the computer as well. So I'll take you on those three sort of avenues um, as we go through this video. Uh, I'm not too sure how long it's going to be. I sort of just want to get through everything and let you guys know, um, you know, what you're going to be getting into sort of thing um, and the cost of it. And um, pretty much I'll give you a detailed list of um, everything you'll need um, from the maintenance of the printer heads and everything, all the supplies for that, uh, the cleaning supplies, to um, the supplies that you'll need as for inks. Uh, film and powder as well. Um, we'll get through all that in this video um, again alongside with uh, the cost of everything as well and kind of where you can get them. I mean I'm from Canada so um, there's a lot of Canadian DTF places that you can get things from so um, let's get started. We're going to uh, we're going to start off with we know that um, we have the 8550 converted there and uh, this here, um, I got off Kijiji, um, and I paid eight fifty for it total. Um, now it's in stores for I think you know in between nine hundred to a thousand or something. Um, so you're looking at spending. You could try used. I got it brand new out of the box, but used, we'll say. Um, but you can go and get it uh, either used, uh, but the ink can't be run through it. So just either buy it used. Uh, use new or uh, new but you'll need this first and then uh, go through my tutorial or um, someone else's like J&J Professional he's got one I sort of ran off his um, but yeah so get your um, the, the first things first is getting your uh, printer which is the cost of in between eight to a thousand dollars let's dive in to uh, the software side of it um, and kind of show you what happens um, inside the computer here. So let's let's hop inside here and uh, take a look. All right, guys. So let's go over some of the things here, um, uh, software-wise, that you'll need. Um, so starting off with like your rip, that's a number one. So that's a must. Um, is your um, is your rip software? Um, that is going to correspond with your printer to um, explain to it all um, six colors of your DTF print. Um, so you're really going to need the RIP software. And um, so that is a must. Um, you can get um, for making your vectors. There's so many different ways to do it. You could do it through um, Adobe Illustrator. Um, you can do it through GIMP or uh, Inkscape. But I, um, I found a program that works really well. It's called Vector Magic. And I mean, this thing, it, it really does wonders and it, and it gets, the, gets a lot of the job done. And then I sort of finish it off after, I, after I'm done in here and I kind of hop into here. But anyhow, there's a few programs, um, but the one main one you'll need is your uh, RIP software. So let's kind of go through that. Um, you got here um, Acro Rip, so that's what I'm using is uh, Acro Rip 10.5. Um, you can go to 10.7 or or do 11 uh, now, um, but again 10.5 will do the same as the others, just less finicky uh, playing with um, where the colors go in the machine and stuff. I think so. I know there's a few th extra things you have to do in 10.5, uh, just some adjustments, but not a big deal. Um, and if you're looking for a really user-friendly one, I mean, this is fairly user-friendly, um, but you also have the option of CAD Link Rip. 
Um, so this one here is Digital Factory version 10, um, which will work with the Epson 8550, uh, but there is an 11 as well. So basically, like, I don't even know if 9 works with it, but I know 10 and up, um, they work fine uh, with, with, um, with this just fine. Um, so now that is the RIP software. So again, you're looking... I'm going to say you could get it on sale or something like you're looking between four and $600 for your RIP software um, for your desktop versions. Um, these are desktop versions. They also have wide and uh, other ones for industrial as well. And they're a little bit more. Um, so they're, they're fairly friendly with the desktop version price, um, but it is still a little bit costly. Um, in the way of software, again, I, I went with um, Vector Magic to kind of help me out. It's a little bit on the pricey side. You could do the monthly and try it out. I would suggest at least give it a whirl. Um, or if you really have a couple of busy months, just pay for those couple of months. It, this program is, is well worth it. Um, I have myself the desktop edition. It's 374 for the license, but you got your one-time charge and it's always on my computer for when I need it. And I don't get the monthly billing either. So um, I took the time to, to save for that. Um, so that is a really good program to have. Now, if you don't have, you know, the money right away or whatever, like I didn't even, I just sort of was using other programs. Um, I went with Inkscape. Um, so this is a kind of a free program to download. It has a lot of, a lot of stuff you can do um, in this program. So I would say get Inkscape and give that a whirl. We'll call that like your Adobe uh, Illustrator almost, right? As well as GIMP. Um, you wanna get these, these, these two programs and kind of play around with them if you don't have uh, the money for Adobe or Corel Draws or, or uh, stuff like that. Um, or even for that matter, uh, Vector Magic. This thing is just, this, this program uh, standalone by itself is just um, incredible. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for that. Um, so while I'm here on this side of it, um, so that's for software. Okay. So we got your rip software, um, which you're going to, you absolutely need this. So that's 100% needed. Um, one or the other, or if you can find another, um, rip software, then go for it. Uh, but these are the two most popular. Okay. Um, now another thing I just want to look at while we're inside here, um, in the computer, is the um, resetter okay this is going to be needed that looks like this okay but the model you're looking for is the c9345 that is the one that will be compatible with with your um et8550 um so for myself mine's in the mail um i didn't get it from ebay i paid a little bit more than 72 for it um you're looking in between about, you know, 65 at some places. Maybe you can find cheaper if you're willing to wait. Uh, maybe at AliExpress or something. I know it takes, a, I'm in Canada, so it takes a little longer for it to get here, but it is a little cheaper. Um, and sometimes it's not because the shipping sort of makes up for that. But in any event, I bought it from Amazon myself. Um, it cost me, I think, $91 all in with tax. Um, so yeah, just under a hundred dollars for myself, um, for, for my, uh, maintenance, uh, resetter, but this alongside with your rip software, um, these are requirements. Um, so you can't get away from these costs. Okay. Unless you're, unless you don't want to do a waste tank disposal, um, and keep changing these things every time it fills. Um, I would suggest getting the, the make con, when you do the conversion, um, taking out the rollers, uh, I would definitely suggest going along and I, and I show you in my tutorial how to get, and it's very, very easy to get, to get that and rerun it somewhere that's in a nice clean spot and it looks great. Um, so I, again, I would, uh, I would be going, this is, if you're going to do the waste tank, this is needed. If you're not, and you're going to exchange them every time they're full, you don't need this, okay? But you will require the software, um, your RIP software, okay? So that's it. Let's let's jump out of here now. I don't think there's anything left on the PC here. Um, 
let's go take a look around in the room right now and uh, I'll kind of show you uh, where I'm at and uh, all the supplies and stuff that are needed as well. Uh, we'll go over all that stuff. Um, so let's, uh, let's hop on back out there. Okay, so that's all the stuff inside the computer more or less that uh, you need in the way of um, uh, software um, and uh, also the maintenance chip tank, or the uh, chip resetter um, to reset um, your waste tank um, for when it gets about 10%, uh, I think it's 10% full. Um, so this is sort of what I've done here, I'm going to show you um, where I'm at. So we got the conversion of course, um, we got the tile tray. That was all done in the um, tutorial video. Okay, um, one thing to note, um, the driver software that comes with it, um, you wanna put that in there and put that on. I heard that the updates are leaving a line or something in the film, but I would just stay safe um, and, and just use the driver that comes with it. I've heard some issues with the updates and then someone put it back to the original and everything was fine. Um, but again, there's my waste tank. I've got it running down and uh, through here. And then, of course, it runs into, um, I put it into a flower pot there. But uh, essentially, that's it there. So that is my waste tank. And then rollers are out. It's converted 8550, ready for uh, DTF printing. Once I put the ink in there or in the SIS system, once I talk to, um, that's another thing I got to talk to DTF Toronto about is the uh, SIS system. So there, I'm there. Um, I got this for about 14 bucks from Walmart. It is for the DTF um, uh, powder. When that comes out, it'll kind of run into the powder. Um, so I have this spot void. Um, so next week I am picking up, um, I was supposed to get this 13 inch oven um the dtf oven but um so my order got put on backlog and stuff so i wouldn't be getting it for like another month and a half to two months so what my salesman did was he um upgraded me um at the same cost to this one so i kind of lucked out there on this one um so yeah i'm getting the 15 inch one now so this is this one here is where that's going to go. Um, so um, as for investments, you can use um, this is another thing you'll need is to dry or cure um, your film. So I'm going to be using a, a curing oven. Um, now you do not have to get this. You do not have to invest in the curing oven. Um, you can use your um, your heat press okay and you just kind of leave a sliver you can watch some videos on it but there is a way to cure with your heat press okay and they also have at Amazon I think a pad as well I'm gonna kind of not go that route I'm um, I'm taking my time with this build I'm really trying to get everything um, to where it should be and um, I just want to kind of have the proper things for it um, when I do start this. So again, uh, so I'm grabbing that one now, I guess. Um, so got the 15 inch coming. That's going to go there. Um, and then this here cost me, um, I got an eight in one heat press. Okay. Um, and it does the cups um, or the mugs, uh, cups and tumblers here. Uh, the plates, uh, the two different size plates there. Uh, I got the thing for the hat as well. Um, and that kind of goes in the press. And then, of course, the press itself, um, which, um, you know, I got a little shirt in there. That's going to be like my first shirt that, uh, that I put it on. Um, so, yeah. So that, um, that was uh, 350 I think it was 350 I paid all in um, on Kijiji for that. So that was a 350 or right there so um, and then I got this actually today I picked it up I've been putting out um, massive um, you know uh, messages trying to get this now everywhere 75 to you know in between 65 to 75 80 dollars used um, I just kept on blast out there at uh, 
at 35 bucks I was putting out there, will they take it, will they take it? And 150 messages later, um, I ended up with a, um, a, a really nice uh, older woman and um, she had it brand new in the box and she offered it to me for $40 and um, yeah, I had to actually break the tape, she didn't even open it. Um, she, she said she got it for a gift uh, recently and she just never used it and she thought she would throw it on there. Her original price was 65 but you know I wrote a message alongside with my offer um, and uh, she read it and uh, I'm thankful for getting it for forty dollars so um, that was a fairly good buy a brand new never used um, so that was pretty good um, you can get those deals you gotta just uh, if you have the time to wait and fish them out um, do so so I'm just gonna move over here to kind of where I've got my list of stuff to get and what I've what I've gotten so um, let's see here on here so on here I've got my so I got my acro rep I got my maintenance tank resetter on the way um, my curing oven is now going to be a 15 inch it'll be uh, it'll be here next week uh, business cards $30 um, circuit mini I got for 40 I just showed you that I crossed that off today um, dehumidifier you can go pick one up at Walmart or, or kind of anywhere really you want to keep um, you, you got to check your humidity um, in the room it's got to be um, at a certain degree and um, I'll do a video on that later or something but when we're doing all the more detailed stuff um, table uh, 8 foot I just say 8 foot I wanted an 8 foot one you need a table or you put it on the floor it's up to you um, a container for your powder again right there cost me uh, I think 14 to 16 dollars um, you doesn't that's a big one you don't have to get that big I just kind of went a little bit bigger I'm gonna be doing roll printing and stuff so that's that that's uh, for another day um, printer USB cable um, for myself I don't uh, I don't want to be Wi-Fi I like to I like to be hard lined into everything if I can so for myself that was a cost I bought a little bit of a nicer one for about 14 bucks you only need a 2.0, it doesn't have to be fancy dancy 3.0, all works the same. Um, humidity meter, um, yeah, just kind of lets you know your uh, humidity. You're looking at 12 to $15 maybe, you can get that at Home Depot even, or or DTF store, they have them there. They're, they're kind of, um, yeah, they, they have them at a couple places, local hardware store. And SIS system. So the SIS system, when I go in to get my, um, when I go in to get my oven I'm going to he's we're gonna have a sit down and a talk um, because when you get the oven um, you have to get what's called a fume uh, smoke extractor and it kind of goes over it you know, I'll click on it here so when you get the oven you're supposed to have one of these as well or be really well ventilated okay um, so oh excuse me I think it shows you here how it goes on like over it there we go okay so see how it's over it so I have an engineer buddy and he looked at it and we are gonna come up with something else um, I've got I've got uh, a window here um, and stuff that I can get um, a lot of ventilation from like for, like for the room so he's we're gonna come up with something and I will do a video on that as well um, but this pretty much the the extractor is, is a requirement with it um, You don't want to be breathing the fumes in the room or anything that this the smoke that it extracts um, So you really should get one of these if you're gonna do the oven um, I think even when you do it on there. There's a little bit of an extraction. I mean either way you got to be in a well ventilated room um, When you're doing when you're doing this operation, um, I would definitely um, have good air quality in here and ensure that everything is uh, being ventilated properly so yeah again I'm gonna do that um, I'm gonna do a custom one uh, we'll do a tutorial on that after um, once I get to that um, so yeah next week um, late next week I'm gonna be picking this up and um, uh, the 15 inch one and then I'm gonna start the build for um, the smoke extractor for that um, so let's get over to supplies here quickly. Um, so I sort of, um, 
I sort of did a list here of the supplies that I like general supplies and like print head cleaning so like you're for sure gonna need shop towels uh, refill injectors syringes uh, I looked at 10 mil looks good you're gonna need the priming tips make sure you get the priming tips with it okay they're hard to find on Amazon but um, you can you're probably gonna have to go and get them from like one two three fill or somewhere unless you have them somewhere locally I'm gonna see if DTF Toronto does actually I, they may have some um, so yeah you're gonna need those just make sure with the syringes you get your priming tips for your cleaning um, you're gonna need foam q-tips um, and, you're, and you're gonna need pers uh, like precision q-tips as well those are the long wooden ones that um, th the cotton on the top is really stiff and firm so those that's kind of what you're looking for in that one there um, and then you have your foam ones it's almost like a, it's like a foam on the end and it's uh, and then that's what you need is foam q-tips precision q-tips you need your cleaning solution I'm gonna go with the BHC it's got a really uh, good high concentration of cleaning solution and I'm really only going to use that when I'm cleaning my lines out and stuff like that. Um, as for the regular cleans, the regular maintenance stuff, I'm just going to kind of uh, maybe even make my own. I, I learned a way to make some. Um, I might do a video on that. Uh, Icy Profile, the, the rubbing alcohol, um, you're going to want to get a bottle of that as well with some spray bottles, okay? So just grab some spray bottles. I'm grabbing a six pack of empty spray little 50 milliliter bottles to put it in um, to be able to squirt it around if need be. Um, lint rollers is for when you're doing shirts um, and stuff just I'm just gonna grab lint rollers for that so this stuff's kind of for the heating press side of it um, with lint rollers the Teflon pillows the Teflon sheets of course um, you're gonna want your heating tape um, what I'm gonna get like the white cotton gloves and the latex gloves uh, latex you know for when you're working inside with the inks and stuff you don't want to get it all over you and the white cotton gloves when I'm handling like the the film and stuff and um, the heat resistant gloves is for like when you're doing the mugs and stuff it gets really hot the glass gets hot when you're when you're heating them up um, so you're gonna want to get if you're doing mugs and stuff you're gonna need the heat resistant gloves so I'm grabbing those um, uh, because I will be doing mugs um, so sort of I just I kind of have a Bristol board out again I'm new at this so I just like to have everything in my face and then uh, it makes it easier for me to cross-reference um, so this is my chart for my um, so that is for uh, this um, that is this chart for this for my inks so I know which one goes into what I mean I'm gonna put um, like white I think it's white black, uh, then cayenne, yellow, magenta, and then white again. So I think it's white on the outsides. We'll go through it when I'm filling um, because I'm going to do a steps process here. So the first thing I'll do when I do it is fill the inks. I'm, gonna, I'm going to go through and write everything I do down as I'm doing it and videotape it as well so that you see if I encounter any problems while I'm filling the ink or while I'm installing the driver or anything like that. Up until the point we get these things printed, I want to go through the problems that we go through and fix them um, and help help somebody else out like um, other people have helped me out in their videos. Hopefully um, this will be educational. I know it's probably long and boring right now, but um, there is some stuff that maybe is valuable to you um, or that may be helpful for you. Um, so again, um, I've just wrote down my paper size I need here, the A3 or the A2 at 13 by 19. Um, I'm going to get, uh, as for my film, again, you get hot, warm, cold, or cold. Um, there's one called a trio. I'm going to try it. It's, uh, it's all three. So like, and depending on the amount of time that you take it off is like the finish that comes off. So... I'm interested in seeing that one. I haven't. I never heard of that until just recently. Um, and uh, DTF Toronto has them for sale. A little bit more expensive than your warm cold or hot cold. But I think I'm going to rock out 100 sheets and see where we go with it. It looks kind of cool. Um, also, um, uh, the hot peel and the cold warm peel. So those are the other two, just like peels that I like how you peel it, right? Um, and so whether it be cold, hot, warm, um, or all three now, like, so, um, so that's film. 
um, in the way of ink, I'm going with the DTF Supreme ink. You can go with the cheaper stuff. Um, I wouldn't suggest it, but I've seen a lot of different problems with some of the trying to go cheaper inks. So I mean, out of anything that you're going to really want to kind of invest in is the ink. Um, you really want to have like a, a good ink going through um, your machine. So I'm, I haven't started mine. I'm going to start with the Supreme HD, um, I believe so. I'm going to talk to him, make sure that this is the best one. I think this is it. And then um, if this is, this will be the only thing I will be restocking on. And that will all, like I'm not putting any different inks in. This will be it. I will restock this ink only. And as for my powder, um, I mean, I'm going to stick with the same powder. Once you get a supplier, um, you know, Try to build a relationship with them. Don't just talk over the phone or order online. Try to go in. Try to, you know, uh, see if you can get like, um, you know, a walkthrough of the building or something. Build the a relationship um, with your supplier. You know, this is the guy that's supplying you, and you're both making each other money. So, um, you know, go have a coffee, <laughs> talk it out. Maybe you get a deal. So, you know, but um, yeah. So those are the supplies there basically for like getting started printing them, right? Like your actual um, from film to ink to DTF powder. Um, those are your three mains. After you have everything else, I mean, this, these here are your, or sorry, your little general supplies. You know, you just refill these. I like, um, for instance, like the foam tips and this stuff. Uh, when I get it, it's going to be like a hundred of them. The thing's going to last me a couple of months, right? So it's just get as necessary after that. So a lot of this stuff's going to last a little bit. I heard the ink lasts a fairly long time. I'm getting a fairly, I, I, I don't know what size it is, but I know it's a good size. Um, actually, let's just check that quick. Let me go through that right now quickly. Um, is So um, here's my order here. Okay, perfect. So my order is up. So there, I'm trying the trio. That's a 13 by 9, or 19, okay? And um, yeah, it's $99 Canadian, okay? Um, and that's a pack of 100 sheets. And then down here is the Ink Supreme Bundle in six colors. Okay, so with this, it's a little costly. You're, you're going to spend a little bit more for some ink, um, if you want good ink. Um, but again, uh, the ink lasts a good while from all the videos and stuff I've watched so far. It lasts a fairly good time for all the colors. As for the white, you're probably going to be changing that. So I'm looking at about $500 or $450 for the inks themselves. And then, you know, it varies on the lasting. I'm not always going to have to be buying. This is just my first initial buy. So like, uh, and the one single bottles, I think after that, as I, as I need them, I think they go for about 30, 35 or something like that. 30, 30 to $40 a piece, okay? That's what you're looking about for replacing inks um, for every time you need to replace a color. And then of course you have the hot melt adhesive powder. Um, I'm going with the fine powder. I'm gonna try both. There's no, I, I don't know what the difference is really. I'm gonna try them all because you got your white, like your white powder, and then your black powder as well. Um, and they do different things, I guess, not majorly, but um, I haven't really looked too, like I haven't done any in-depth on uh, what the differences are really, so maybe I'll do a video when I get more experience on that. Um, but yeah, as for right now, um, I'm just gonna go with the fine powder, and I might just grab the other one too at the same time and just see how the applications are and stuff. Because once you get your stuff, right, like I'm gonna be going more than the trio, I'm gonna try them all. They even have a glitter one, right? You gotta play with your, your films, uh, your adhesives, and, and not so much the ink, I'm staying the same with that, but you gotta play with the settings for the ink within the software. And then as for the actual application, um, you know, you're looking at different outcomes for your <clears throat> films, right? All the different films um, and powder as well. I don't think the powder is as big of a deal as the film. There's there's different looks or mate and you know you got your shiny look, but there's different looks um, you can get. So that 
that is it there. So my total um, for my first supply run is you know five ninety nine ninety nine all in, right? So that's my that's that's with um, without shipping. I'm not. Um, I won't be shipping. I'll be manually uh, picking up. Now that would be significantly more if I was shipping. Um, but again, I'm I'm 20 minutes away from the store. I'm not far from it, thank God. So he's going to be a local supplier. I could jump over and have a coffee with whenever, and have a chat with. So yeah. So that's about it for um, for supplies. I got your supplies covered. I got that that. Okay. And then, I mean, if you're looking to get, um, I'm just going to say this, if you're looking to get like a Shopify or a GoDaddy uh, website, I'll just throw it out there that your GoDaddy domain, you're looking at like $20 a year, okay, to have a domain. So if you think of a name of a company and you don't want to put it like, you just at least get the, uh, the www on it and then uh, everything else from there um, you know it'll be it uh, it'll be fine okay guys so we went through um, you know going over everything that I sort of got the software side from sort of the equipment that's required as well with some of the costs or most of the costs there um, as for the supplies and stuff they all vary um, you know but um, again, try to go to your local buy and sell or your used if you can. Um, it helps you uh, save some dollars as long as it's not in too bad a condition. Um, you know, as for the heating, uh, like the, the heat press and stuff, if you're not, you'll need a heat press, a heat mat, or a DTF oven to cure your... Now you can do it with the home oven, but I, I wouldn't suggest it, but you can do it. Um, somehow I, I saw a video on it but I didn't um, I didn't even exhaust looking at it because I'm going myself with the DTF oven um, so I need to learn about that um, so that's why I went with that but there are other methods um, to doing that so again um, yeah if there's any questions um, just please ask um, you know I'm, I'm fairly new to all the DTF stuff um, uh, to actually getting hands on with the software. Um, you know, I used to do it, I used to do a lot of marketing, I used to do a lot of hands on work with this stuff, but I'm, I'm starting to get into the business side of it. And uh, so I kind of want to take you through that side as well in some more future videos. Um, but in this one, I just sort of wanted to take you through. I know I probably bored the hell out of you, um, but hopefully that some of this content here that is within this video that I've made um, and inside my computer and um, between that and the supplies list, hopefully it helped you get, get some kind of grasp on, um, you know, what you're going to get yourself into and how much it's going to cost. I'm going to leave um, probably, at least in the, the comments there, um, a list of all the supplies. I'm going to leave links down there as well um, and all that stuff. So uh, just please uh, follow and uh, or subscribe sorry and uh, share this out if you could or, sh or share my videos out so at least some of it gets out there and uh, yeah but subscribe and uh, be around for my next one um, so in my next one I'm going to be covering I guess just kind of I'll have the oven set up so I'll have basically everything set up and ready um, for my DTF ink my powder um, and my film. So that is what I'll be ready for um, in my next video. And then um, we're gonna be following videos um, on uh, the software, marrying it up with the uh, printer itself. Again, I'm on 10.5 Acro Rip. So if you're on 10.5 Acro Rip, this video, the videos that I'll show will help you. I think that 10.7 and 11 are the same more or less so if you watch you know the 10.5 video you'll have a really good idea it's all about getting ideas I watched you know a couple of different people and uh, you just and watch my video and, and watch other ones you get all different aspects and just um, you know the more knowledge more power so just just absorb it all so I'm gonna try to and like I said in my videos I'll try to give you as much detail as I can um, but yeah, 
So just please subscribe, like, and uh, I'll see you in my next video.